Hello. So today I am making a candle. So I have all these wax melts that Mike, when he was selling on Amazon, got, and these didn't sell. And I use wax melts, but I don't use them that much. And so I'd rather have a candle. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a candle out of wax melts. Or maybe two. I don't know. We'll see. So first of all, I've had this sitting in boiling water. And melted the last of my little gunk down there. I'm going to pour it in an old container. It's all nasty. And now I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe out the rest. Let's see if I can get the container clean. Now I have another quarter of a candle in the back that I'm um, got to get that label off. I am a label hater. I cannot stand labels on anything. If there's a label on something, I must pick it off. Am I the only one? Give me a thumbs up, guys, if I'm the only one. Or comment, let me know. Okay, so now this appears to be burned on the bottom. Very interesting. Hmm. So... I don't know if I can get this cleaned off. Let's see. Yeah, this is like kind of burned. Hmm, very interesting. I have never had that happy before. Usually my jars come out perfectly clean. Huh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the sink and try and wash this out and see if I can get it cleaned up. So the noise in the background is the wax melting the new wax but look at this I have no idea what that is on the bottom but something I wonder if something spilled in my candle because I keep it on the stove but it's coming right off super clean so you get all that black stuff I waited till my jar was cool of course stick it on here and then it won't slide Now this is just a personal candle for me. I'm just showing you how I reuse them. Okay, so now I'm gonna get it all off the top here, I hope. I hope, I hope, it's kind of stuck on there. So it's actually the old wax that's harder than whatever was on the bottom there. Okay, I think I about got it. So I'm going to go rinse this and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see I used my little green scratchy thing, you know, that we have for the sink. Um, you know, this scrubby thing. Okay, so I used that and I got it all sparkly clean. So now I'm going to put my wick in, I think, I don't know, should I put my wick in first? Um, actually, hmm. so I have this other little candle here that one of the girls was burning and didn't want anymore. And she gave it to me, so I thought, well, I'd add that in there too. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make some sort of pattern here. Maybe if I turn them this way, and this way. I'm just doing this for fun, just because I just needed a break to do something fun. And 
needed a new candle because I was out. Okay, so, hmm, so that's kind of an interesting little pattern there. And I'm still melting my other wax, so I think what I'm gonna do is put, now I'm not adding any extra fragrance for this one because these wax melts are really, really strong. They're vanilla cherry, so it should smell really good. So I'm gonna pour this in first to hold my, uh, what do you call it? Um, my wick. It didn't quite get totally melted, so let me finish melting it. So, while that's happening, sorry for all the noise in the background, my son's making coffee. I know, I told you you could do it. I didn't yell at you, I was just saying. So they know what that horrible choking machine sound is in the background. Hmm. And let's see. I wonder how many of these I'm going to need. I'm thinking. Huh? Yeah? I got the coffee maker noise, and I got the other noise. I just got all kinds of noise going on. Oh, what's that? Oh, sorry, I thought you meant the other noise. Okay, so I have all these broken up, and I'll be back in a few minutes when it's not so noisy, and show you how I'm going to finish. Maybe. Let me push this one down first. Or not. There. Okay, so now I did have a little bit of Okay, so now I did did have a little bit of red that I spilled on the side, so I just took a paper towel and wiped that off on the inside. So now let's see. I am not sure if I should just lock these in or if I should make them into something that's, I don't know, some sort of a pattern. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting them in here. And I have way more red than I do white, so let's put more red then start Ugh. okay I admit this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be putting these in here I didn't know they would be quite so something maybe it is easier just to drop them in there I guess Let's see where they land Okay, so now we'll start adding some whites. Red. Red down the middle there. White on the edge. And a white over here. Red down there. Wow, this is taking a lot. I did not know. It would take so much wax. Wow, these smell super, super delicious. Wow, okay. So that did not, how do I say? That did not feel, I mean, that used way more than I ever thought it would. Hmm. Crazy. Okay, so now let me see. Do I have any more? No, I don't really have any more. Okay, so let's just give it a try here and see what we have left. So I've been melting my soy wax in a 
boi double boiler. Now, um, or just I just put in some water in a pan. Now, I am not gonna scent this because these are so scented that I'm not gonna scent it, but I don't know if I have enough stuff in here. Let's see if we do. Okay, so here we go. Melting another candle back there just to get it ready. Okay, so let me grab it's a little bit hot. Ooh, maybe I do have enough. Well, hot dog, what do you know? Okay. So, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting candle. Did I get my wick straight? Does my wick need to go over a little bit? Let's see if we can push something over on my wick here. To... There. Okay, so now I'm going to let this get hard, and then I will have me a new wood wick candle reusing old wax tarts and adding some a little bit of new wax in it's about a cup of new wax please give us a thumbs up like share comment and visit us livingonadet.com